Hello everyone, welcome to the theory class. Today we're going to be covering lesson six. So before we get started with our lesson, let's go ahead and do an evaluation with lesson five. All right, so you're going to write, write these words on your machine and then I will go back and explain how they should have been written and you um, look, compare that with what you have and see how you did. All right, so number one is boat. We went across the water in a boat. Number two, the brief what. What will you do? Number three, doll. She plays with that doll. Number four, the brief where, where do you want to go? Number five, bore, I don't want to bore you. Number six, the brief about, what is it about? Number seven, she, she called earlier. Number eight, do, do you have a car? Number nine is shore, let's walk along the shore. And number 10 is which, which way do you want to go? The brief which. All right, let's look at our keyboard chart here and see how you did. Number one is boat. That is written initial B, long O, T. Number two, what? W, H, A. Number three, doll, D-O-L. Number four, the brief where, initial W, final R. Don't get that mixed up with were, where is initial W-R. Number five is bore, B, long O-R. Number six is about, initial B. Number seven, she, S-H-E. And even though you don't know your long E yet, um, that is a pronoun, so you wanna use a short E. So that's just for information when you do get your long E. Number eight is do, D-O. Number nine is sure, S-H, long O-R. Number 10 is which, W-I. All right, so if you missed any of those, I suggest that you shut this recording off and go back and practice lesson five. And uh, along with the read back sentences before you start lesson six, because it is uh, building from, each lesson builds from the previous lesson. All right. So let's go ahead and get started uh, with lesson six. Today, uh, you're going to learn two new letters on our keyboard, initial N, which is T-P-H. That's how we write our initial N, and initial M, initial P-H. So our M is P-H, N is T-P-H. And uh, the way that we write that, our hands are in home position. M is going to be struck with our left, middle, and index finger. N is going to be our ring, middle, and index finger on the left side. So that is our M and N. All right. Let's look at some of these words. Now, if you haven't already done so, you need to make sure you've printed off all of your handouts for lesson six. Um, let's see, six one through six ten. 
All right, so let's look at uh, some of our new words here. We've got nail, N long A L, N long A L, okay? Uh, nil, meaning zero or nothing, N I L. Null, um, that just means uh, void, null and void, N U L. No. Nod, N O D, nod. Nor, N long O R, we've got a long O there, nor. Net, N E T, net. Note, N long O T. Knob, now knob is spelled with a K, K N O B, but because the K is silent, we write it with an N, just like it's, it sounds, uh, knob, N-O-B, knob. Meal, M-A-E-L. If you have trouble with your N and M, just go back before you even start and just tell yourself N-M and go back and forth with your fingers and uh, practice that, M-N, M-N, until you feel like you have it down, okay? Mop. M O P, mop, mad, M A D, met, M E T, mess, M E S, meet, M A E T, there's our A E reversal. Me, again, that's a pronoun, so when you do learn your long E, you would make that as a short E because it's a pronoun, M E. Matt, M-A-T. That's exactly why we would flag the proper name Matt, because it conflict with Matt. Uh, wipe your shoes on the mat, M-A-T. All right. 6.2, we have a writing drill. You're going to separate each one with a comma. The mat, comma. The mob, comma. A mate, comma. The net, comma, the mace, comma, a nip, comma, the maze, comma. Now, make sure you write that with a final Z. Um, if you use an S, that's going to be mace, as in uh, he will spray me with the mace. So, final Z for maze. The mess, comma, a mill, comma, the nag, comma, the mug, comma, the mare, comma, that's a long A. A mole, comma, long O. To mar, comma, to nap, comma, to mail, comma. Now we're going to go over in 6.4 the difference between this male and uh, M-A-L-E, uh, meaning the, the man, uh, male or female. Uh, so we're going to be going over that. So for now, just know that this male, is going to be written as M long A L. Okay, so that's all you have to know for now. You don't even have to know the other male. So to male comma, to nab comma, to miss comma, to nag comma, to mope comma, that's a long O, to note comma, long O, to mug comma. All right, moving into 6.3, practice sentences. The mare is a nag, period. Now, don't forget, we're going to phrase is a, S-A. And because that is a phrase, we use a short A. Otherwise, it would be the word say if we used a long A. Okay, so S-A, short A, just because it's a phrase. The mare was a nag. Now, there's was, so don't forget, that's W-A-Z. Okay, it's not was. W A Z. Where is the mug in a rog? Don't forget our in a rog, S T P H. He will mug her today, period. He will mail the note, period. I will mail the note, period. The mutt is to nap, period. The mutt is to nap today, period. The mob will nail Ned, period. Don't forget to flag Ned, that's a proper name. The mob will nail mail. 
And again, Mel, meaning uh, somebody's name would be M E L with the flag. Mop the mat, period. Nate will mop the mat, period. Matt will nail the mob, period. Nate will nail the mob, period. Ned will mail the letter, period. Nate will mail the letter, period. All right, 6.4. We've got, got conflict outlines. Uh, some of these are review, some are new. So um, we want to make sure you guys get those down so that you are writing real time. Um, so let's go over those. Some are new, some are our review. Okay, so we have the noun stair. Uh, walk up the stair. That's just, that's going to be uh, S-T, long A-R, stair. Then we have stare as in a verb or a noun. It can be used either way. Don't stare at her. That is going to be flagged. Um, and that's an easy one because it ends with an E, so that's the one that we flag. S-T, long A, R with the flag, stare, okay? Male and male, so the first male, um, you have male, M long A L. And then we have male as in male or female, that um, is going to be flagged, M long A L with the flag, okay? It ends with an E, so we flag that one, pretty easy. Now, line two, we have hail, which is a noun. Pellets of frozen rain, it will hail tonight. H long A L, okay? Then we have hail, as in uh, it's an adjective meaning healthy or sturdy. Um, he is a hail man. Um, that one is flagged, you don't hear that as often, so that's why it is flagged. Also, um, it ends with E, so it makes it easy. So H long A L with the flag. Okay, H A L E is flagged. Then we have hair and hair. So the noun hair, your hair is getting long, H long A R. And then we have hair as in a rabbit, it's also a noun. Again, we won't hear that as often. Uh, that one is flagged, it ends with an E. Now, this. This word here, when we go to tap or we go to flag it, we're going to do what's called tapping. I covered that in the last lesson a little bit, but definitely this word we're going to tap. So the way you have two ways you can do it. So you can either you, you can use either index finger. So first, the first thing you have to do is put your fingers on all of the keys that are needed. H long A R. Okay, but both of our index fingers are on keys. So what we're going to do is lift up with either one. You're going, after you hit the R here, you're going to lift up, come over and hit this asterisk, and then lift up. Or you can do it with your left index finger. So if I have all of my fingers on the keys, I'm going to push down, lift up right here, but I'm still going to keep these, these uh, keys down. And then hit this here, and then lift up. Okay, so that is how you tap. And uh, not all words require that, just uh, the ones that we have to flag, which when both of our index fingers are used up on a key, then we have to do that tapping. And it will get easier as time goes on. I know at first it's a little tricky, but um, you will get better as time goes on and the more practice that you have with that. Okay? All right. Then we have bail and bail. So B-A-I-L is a noun, like the temporary release of a person or a bond. Uh, that is going to be B long A-L, bail. Will you bail me out of jail? Then we have bail, as in, that's a noun, a bundle of paper or hay. Um, will you buy a bale of hay for the horse? Now that one is going to be flagged. It ends with an E, so it makes it pretty easy. B long A L with the flag. Bale of hay. Sail or sail. Sail, the first sail, S A I L, can be a noun or a verb. Uh, that's going to be S long A L. We we will we will go on a sailboat or let's go sail today. Um, then we have sail S A L E. It ends with an E, so we flag that one. Let's uh, let's have a garage sale. Okay, that's also a noun S long A L with the flag. Okay. All right, pale and pale. 
The first pale is a noun, P-A-I-L. That's going to just be written as P-long A-L. And then we have pale, P-A-L-E. That's an adjective. You look or your pale skin may burn in the sun. Okay, that one is going to be flagged. It ends with an E. So P-long A-L with the flag. Okay, tail and tail. The cat's tail got caught in the door, T-long A-L. Then we have tail, T-A-L-E, it ends with an E, so we're going to flag that one. Will you, will you um, read a tale to the child? T-long A-L with the flag. All right, pair, pair, and pair. I know these are, uh, the, these right here are review, but that's okay. The more we cover them, the more it's going to uh, sink in. So we've got a noun, the noun pair. I need a pair of shoes. P long A R with the, or I'm sorry, P long A R. No flag on that one. Then we have pair to pair an apple, meaning to cut the outer skin off something. Uh, will you pair my apple? P long A R with the flag. It ends with an E, so that's the one we're going to flag. Then we have pear as in the fruit. P E A R, so we're going to do our A E reversal. P A E R. Okay. Then we've got pole and pole. Um, take a pole. That would be just P O L. Spelled P O L L, so we write it as P O L. Makes it easy. And then pole. Climb up the pole, P long O L. Okay, so it's nice we don't have to flag anything. Same with uh, roll and roll. Um, roll, R O L L, can be used either as a noun, as in like the bread, or a verb uh, to go around, roll the dice or roll the tire down the street. That's just R O L, just kind of like it's spelled R O L L. So we write it as R O L. Then we have roll. As in a noun, what role will you play? R long O L. Okay. Again, very nice. We don't have to flag anything there. Now, line seven, do and do. So two new ones here. First one is a noun. It, it means a female deer. It could mean a female antelope, goat, or rabbit, the doe. That is just D long O, just like it's spelled. D-O-E. So it's spelled D long O. Then we have dough, which is a noun. Uh, flour, you know, when you, you combine flour and water to uh, make bread, that's the, you know, what kind of dough is it? Um, or the, the pizza dough. Then we also have, it's referred to as money. How much dough do you need? Sometimes they refer to it as money. That one's going to be flagged. D long O with the flag. Okay. Now, the last two homonyms are going to be our exception. Okay, so we have made and made. So if you notice the first made, M-A-D-E, is a verb. That made comes up all the time. I made the bed. Uh, I made dinner. Um, I made the team. You're going to hear made all the time. So that is why we have this exception. This is an exception. So underneath that, you might want to write exception to the rule. Okay, because made is, it's, it ends with an E, but we're not going to flag that one. I made the bed, I made the team, is strictly written M long A D, made, because that word is going to come up all the time. Then we have made, M A I D, meaning it's a noun. I hired a maid to clean the house. That doesn't come up as often, so we're going to flag that one. Okay, M long A D with the flag. Okay, so if you have to highlight it, circle it. Leave yourself a little note, M-A-D-E is, is a very common word, so we're not going to flag that one. And M-A-I-D doesn't come up as often, so we're going to flag that, that maid. Okay? All right. 6.5, we have practice sentences using our new, um, well, it's a combination of um, our conflict outlines along with words that um, have the initial M and N, okay? So let's see here. Line one, the dog has a big tail. Now let's look at has. Um, don't forget that's written as H-A-Z. H-A-Z. It's has, not has, okay? All right. Tell us the sad tale, period. 
So don't forget, these are complete sentences, so you want, you want to end with your period, okay? If you have to, um, go through and put a little asterisk by the words that we flag, like tail, T-A-L-E, if that helps you, okay? Let's look at uh, line two. The cat had no tail. Now, we're going to cover no and no so that you know how to write it. So N-O is written just like it's spelled. N O N O. Okay. So right above no, you can write N O if you want. All right. And then we're going to hit the other no later on down in the sentences here. All right. So let's look at um, uh, line four. The cat would roll in the hay. So over in section 6.6 .6, we're going to get the brief in but you haven't had it yet so i'm going to give you a heads up now so you know how to write it um, so go ahead and highlight line four where it says in the along with she has a role in the show so highlight in the in both of those the way we write the brief in is tph that's our in our n and that's how we write the word in i n Okay, so if we have in the, it's initial N, final T, in the, and you will get that in 6.6, .6, but um, these sentences pop up a little early, so that's why I like to point it out so that you're not confused. All right, you're going to see that again in line six is the letter in the mail, again, in the, initial N, final T, okay, again in on line seven, the mud is in the pail. Highlight in the. Line nine, Rob will stare at you. And then we have show Pat where the stare is. Just a reminder, we phrase where the initial W, final R, final T. Okay. All right, line 17, the pole was in the store. Again, you want to highlight in the initial N, final T. Um, line 18, it was a big poll, period. I know the poll will help, period. Okay, so no, we've got K-N-O-W. So the way we write that is N long O, N long O. Okay, no, he said no, N-O, it's just N-O. But I know you is written as N long O. K-N-O-W is written N long O. So make yourself a little note there. N-O-E. Now it says, I know the poll will help. Again, in your briefs on in 6.6, .6, you're going to be getting the word help, which is H-E-P, HEP. So right above that, write H-E-P, so you know when you go to uh, write the, the sentence, you'll know how to write it. You're going to get it, but it's just, uh, this is jumping a little head. Okay. Line 19, uh, he has red hair. And then we have the hair was in the shade, highlight in the. Hair is going to be flag, H long A R. Um, I'm sorry, H long A R with the flag. And that's, again, that's one of those tapping words. Um, talking about a rabbit, the hair was in the shade. And then in line 20, we have the hair was in the race. So again, highlight in the, and uh, you can put a little asterisk above H A R E if that helps you. Line 21, we have uh, pet the dough, period. And then we have knead the dough. Again, the K is silent, so we just strictly write it as N-A-E-D. All right. And that dough, D-O-U-G-H, is flag. Then our next page over, um, our sentences continue. Our uh, practice sentences continue. Um, line 22, I will pay the bale, period. Where is the bale of hay? That bale is flagged. So make a little asterisk above there if you would like. Number 23, she made the bed. That maid is not flagged, M-A-D-E. The maid made us laugh. So the first maid, M-A-I-D, is going to be flagged. Made, M-A-D-E, is not flagged. Us laugh, L-A-F, period. I made a bad bet, period. K made it up to her. And we phrase it up. T-U-P. Tup. All right. 
6.6. .6. We have some new briefs and phrases. So our first one is in. In is going to be initial N, T-P-H. Okay. Now we've got some phrases with that. In A, N A. Not a long A, it would be nay. Just N A, short A. In the initial N, final T. In the sum, sum is going to be S M on the initial side. S M on the initial side. Okay. Any, N I. We have N I, any. Ask, initial S K, ask. Help, H E P, help. Okay. Month, M O, month. And that's a short O. Credit. Notice that it says K-R with the hyphen, meaning that's on the initial side. It even says initial R. It's very important that you get this down because consider is going to be initial K, final R. So there's not a whole lot of difference between credit and consider. So you really want to practice those so you get those down. Credit is initial K-R. Okay. Consider is going to be initial K, final R. Here. Okay. All right, and there are times when you're going to hear consider the or credit the. I'm going to leave that up to you. If you would like to phrase that, you can. It's optional. So if you have consider the, um, that would be K, final R, final T, consider the, credit the, K, R on the initial side, final T. That's totally up to you. Okay, then over at 6.7, we have some brief drills. Kind of covers all of our new briefs. Separate each one with your comma, the RBGS, so that it's easier to read when you go back to read it. And you kind of get in a rhythm like in, comma, what, comma, uh, some, comma, you know, and so forth. It kind of gets you in a rhythm there. So after you write your brief, then lift up, then strike your comma, lift up, go on to the next brief, and so on. Okay. 6.8. We have practice sentences. Um, let's see. Line two, she has some credit, period. And we're going to be using the period again because they're complete sentences. Some are a mess, period, R-A. We're going to use a short A, R-A. Otherwise, it'd be Ray. So just, it's a, anytime we use the article A in a phrase, we're going to use the short A. Okay. Line five, ask her to mail it, period. Will you ask his boss in a rock? Don't forget his is the final Z. Otherwise, it would be his, okay? And then we have ask the kid to mop it. So we're going to phrase ask the. Ask is initial S-K, final T for the, ask the. Okay, so you wanna highlight that if you need to. Above it, you can write S, K, final T. All right. Um, let's see here. Ask the kid to mop it, period. Now, go down to line seven. He has bad credit, period. What was his credit in a rock? And the last sentence there, credit the bill when I, when I pay it. Um, now, you're going to want to... Um, well, I'm going to give you the option. Credit the. All right. Credit the can be phrased initial KR, final T. It's totally up to you. I recommend that you phrase it just because, you know, it's one less stroke that you have to make. When you get into speeds and you're trying to write 225 words a minute, any shortcut that you can take, any phrase you can do is going to help for you to stay on top of the reader. So, but again, that's optional. Okay. All right, um, let's see here. Oh, credit the bill when I pay it. You can phrase when I, W-H-I, because which is W-I. So when I, it's going to be W-H-I. Okay, uh, let's see here. Look at line eight. Will you consider it in a rock? Consider the company. Period. Again, that's your choice. You can 
phrase, consider the initial K, final R, final T. And then we have, did he consider the mayor? Initial K, final R, final T. Just don't get credit and consider mixed up. Okay. You are in a mess, period. So in a, N A. He was in a rut period. We were in a hole period. Put the letter in the mail period. The bait is in the shop period. Help her in the shop period. All right. Moving over at 6.9. Section 6.9, we've got some consonant compounds. Let's look at the star. Star is written just like it's spelled, S-T-A-R. Again, you really want to focus on your accuracy because um, it's very easy to um, make a mistake and not even know that you did because a lot of these, you know, if you have a finger error, it might look like a whole different word and you wouldn't even know necessarily that you made a mistake. Okay, stop, S-T-O-P. Stiff, S-T-I-F. Stir, S-T-I-R. Stat, S-T-A-T. Stub, S-T-U-B. Step, S-T-E-P. Still, S-T-I-L. Stole, long O, S-T, long O, L. Otherwise, it'd be stall. Staff, S-T-A-F. Store, long O, S-T, long O, R. State, long A, S-T, long A, T. Stale, S T long A L. Stab, S T A B. Stag, S T A G. Stay, S T long A. Stuff, S T U F. Stud, S T U D. All right, 6.10, we've got practice sentences. Um, line one, she was the star, period. Stop at a store, period. What is the state in Iraq? Notice that all of our phrases are underlined. He stole, line two, he stole the stuff, period. The staff will set step up, period. He will stub his toe, period. Line three, stir the pot, period. Credit the staff with it, period. Again, you have an optional phrase there, credit the. The step is still low, period. Line four, he shot the stag, period. The step is stiff, period. Ned is a star, period. We want to phrase is a, S-A. Um, Let's see here, going down to line 12 again. Consider the way, period. Consider the as optional. Um, initial K, final RT. Then we have you consider the way. Again, consider the as optional. I always say do it. If, if it's possible, phrase it. All right. So those are our sections for lesson six. And again, uh, please do not try to uh, write the, the um, sentences that I dictate in the read back portion of the class until you have completed this at least three times, preferably four or more. And uh, then going back and reading your notes, you only have to do one set if you, you know, you can do two if you want, but I would say maybe do the last set that you do because hopefully you're really getting things down and make any notes that um, you notice maybe you're making the same mistake over and over. Make yourself a little note. Um, that's always helpful. And then go back and practice anything that you notice that you're missing.
Now, optional highlighting, um, just so you can learn to read the, the steno notes. I would say if you would, you know, the optional highlighting would be uh, taking a, one color, highlighting initial N, take another color, highlight the initial M words. Okay. Um, then I would take another color and highlight your new uh, briefs, your new briefs in, in a, in the, some, any, ask, help, month, consider, credit. Highlight those with one color. And then take another color and highlight any of your uh, consonant compounds that start with ST, initial ST words, which you won't even see those until you get to part uh, 6.9, section 6.9. Okay, so that's optional highlighting again. That just teaches you to, be, to look for certain words and uh, it, it really does help to be able to read um, the steno. All right, so that concludes this portion of lesson six, and I will see you soon in the read back portion of the class. Have a great day.